Hello there. I've been doing a little more work on my pond. I was able to get, I don't know, maybe about 10, 12 buckets like that, five gallon buckets full of clay, which I'm moving to another area where I need the fill. It's on a, um, a path that I'm on. But anyhow, this is my little, my little pond, which I had some goldfish in, but it was too shallow. And eventually when the water level dropped down, the raccoons got in and got my, my goldfish. They were pretty big at the time. So I am hoping to um, get this even deeper. And the other thing people do is they actually run pipes into the ground so that the um, fish can take refuge underground, especially in the wintertime where it's going to be warmer in the pipe under the ground than under the water, which has a tendency to, to freeze. This is my bamboo. And uh, I think that's a sp sponge vine or something. It's got some sort of sponge or something on it. And this is where I come and relax. I dug out a trench on the back side of the hill there so any water coming down will actually collect and run into my uh, little pond. And I got some side uh, entrances possibly I could use when it rains the water comes flying down underneath the road. I might be able to tap into some of that. I want to be careful because some of that water is not exactly uh, nice. I think it has a, they have some sewage issues up on top of me that no one seems to care about but anyhow this is a big tree that I cut off a little bit on Ugh. and it's been a pain I'm loaded up with hostas that's a Tuanda Creek down you can take the um, take a canoe and go into the Susquehanna and eventually end up in Washington DC but you got to carry it over a couple of uh, uh, dams Apparently, they're supposed to move you if you have a canoe. They're supposed to actually port your canoe for you. They come up with a truck, throw it in the back, and bring you down below the dam. So, that's some comfrey there. Yeah, right up there. That's comfrey. So, anyhow, um, this is where I take refuge down here. It's near the airport, Bradford County Airport. I can walk there. I used to have a plane back in the old days. If anybody has an extra Cessna 150 they want to give me, I'd be happy to use it lovingly. So that's the story. As a matter of fact, it's the airport that got me up here from New Jersey. I had a nice Cessna 150, November 7897F, I think was the number. It's still flying. And eventually I sold it and sent the money to my kids. They were in... Um, Germany needed money to put a down payment on a, an, an apartment there. So I figured I'd had enough fun with the plane. It was time to do something for my kids. So that's what I did. They eventually came back from, um, from Germany and did quite well as programmers over there. So that's the story. I even sold my motorcycle at a Suzuki 650, an airplane. When you have an airplane, <coughs> you need a place to fly to. So I found this place for, I think, about fourteen, fifteen thousand dollars on on Tawanda Creek. That was about all it was worth, probably even less. But anyhow, it was where I wanted to be. I wanted to be near an airport and on water. And uh, the place it really hasn't disappointed me. I put a new roof on it, um, put new windows in it, got a new heating system in it. So anyhow, take care, everyone.